Now, I haven't really watched any of the Olympic Games out of Paris this summer, uh, mostly because of that crazy opening ceremony. I guess you would call it that. Um, but the big story coming out of the Olympics has been uh, these two male boxers who have been fighting females and they're both fighting for a gold medal. In fact, they may have already fought for a gold medal as far as I know. I Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments. It's not the first time I'd be wrong. Certainly won't be the last. But what's crazy is, is that the IOC, the International Olympic Committee, keeps shooting themselves in the foot when it comes to this topic. Now, the story today from outkick.com, and thank you to Outkick, and thank you to Matt Rigel for this story. IOC president seeks scientific way to identify man, woman. Say what? Somebody needs to tell Thomas Bach, who is the International Olympic Committee president, we already have a way to identify men and women. At least last I checked. I'm, I'm no scientist, but, you know. So one of the biggest stories out of the Summer Olympics in Paris has been the saga of the XY chromosome boxers tearing through the women's competition. While this appears to be a gray area in some respects, the difference between males and females is pretty cut and dried topic. At least to those of us that use logic and reason and have a brain. That is, unless you're the International Olympic Committee President Thomas Bach, the IOC boss told the media that we still need a scientific way to identify men and women. What? We still need a scientific way to identify men and women. Now, as Matt says here, you mean like by checking the chromosomes? Because that's been done. Uh, the International Boxing Federation or International Boxing Association or, or whoever last year tested both of these individuals, tested their chromosomes. They came back as XY, which means they're dudes. But that's not good enough for the International Olympic Committee. No, 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 no. Their passports say they're women. And we must believe their passports. Those tests, those are flawed. This is Thomas Bach. We have said from the very beginning, if someone is presenting us a scientifically solid method system for how to identify men and women, we are the first ones to do it. We do not like this uncertainty. We do not like it for the overall situation for nobody. So we would be more than pleased to look into it. Um, pick me, please pick me, Thomas, Thomas. Um, we have a system. It's been used. You just don't like the system. Just saying. <laughs> this sounds like when OJ said he was going to set out to set out to find the real killer. Bach knows as well as all of us that there is a scientific way to make this determination, and it's by looking at an athlete's chromosomes. The International Boxing Association did the, exactly this. However, but because the IOC and the IBA don't exactly see eye to eye, IOC spokesperson Mark Adams said they couldn't tell if the tests were credible or not because they came from the IBA, which they deem not credible. Well, who are you at the IOC to deem that the tests done by the IBA are not credible? That's, that's my question. I mean, come on, really? This isn't rocket science, guys. This is, this is basic biology. It's not hard. That's some serious mental gymnastics, yeah. Unfortunately, especially as it relates to sex and gender, science is completely out the window. It's, in, it's insane that people like Bach can sit there and say, we're looking for scientific tests to determine an athlete's gender. 
I have a question. Why hasn't anybody in the media asked him? Um, but don't we other already have science that does that? I mean, it's been used. It identified these two individuals in 2023 as, as men. I don't know. Now, according to Matt Rigel here, look, if Bach had the stones to admit that he really didn't have a problem with boxers XY chromosomes competing against women, that's one thing. Is it wrong? Sure. But at least he'd be honest about his stance. Instead, he's just playing dumb like there isn't scientific proof that, someone's, that something's amiss. It doesn't appear to be a simple situation, but the IOC seems completely disinterested in getting to the bottom of it and preserving the integrity of women's sports. Matt's not wrong there. I mean, it makes you wonder how people, and I know there's, there's things going on in the background, there's politics and stuff, but how does somebody get away with playing so dumb? Well, um, we don't have the science yet to determine uh, the, the, the chromosomes of an individual to determine if they're a man or a woman. We need new science. Because we don't like the test that these guys did. We don't know about that test. We're, we're arguing with them. I mean, come on, man. Really? So for the past week, we've had story after story of these two individuals, these two guys who were disqualified from IBA competition, go on a run in the Olympics, beating women to get a medal in boxing. I mean, I don't know about you, but I just find this just completely nuts to see that's where we're at as a, as a society, number one, and that it's plain as day what's going on here, but we're just going to play dumb. Nothing to see here, folks. Move along. So what do you guys think about this? Comment down below. I'd love to hear what y'all have to say. Uh, while you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And thank you to each and every one of you, both new and returning viewers. I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. Whether you agree with me or disagree with me, that's okay. And um, share this video out there with your friends and family. With that, I will see you guys in the next one.